Hi. Um, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, we are getting pizza because this restaurant has gluten-free crust, and uh, my nephew, this is Zai, he is um, two months shy of three years old, and he, we're still working on communication, and um, one of the recommendations for brain development is to go gluten-free or grain-free. Gut health actually has a really big impact on your brain. Actually, a lot of doctors believe that the gut and the brain are so interconnected that they're like one system. There's a nerve, I'll have to look up the name of it, that um, connects the two, so they have like a direct connection and um, what's going on in your gut can have a huge impact on how Clearly you think, but especially as your brain is developing like Zai's is, it's really important. So gluten is a protein or a family of proteins that make up a protein that's found in wheat, barley, and rye. But it's especially harmful in the United States because our brains have been so genetically modified that it's like not even food anymore. You could actually go to other countries and eat gluten and have a gluten sensitivity and not have a reaction in other countries. So, um, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? So, uh, cutting out gluten can do wonders for your health. And the best way to find out whether or not gluten is affecting you is to just give it up for a few weeks and then try to eat it again and see how you feel. But that's what I did, um, I went six weeks gluten free and then I ate gluten and immediately had a headache. The next day I had a rash on my arms, um, which is uh, a common symptom of a gluten sensitivity, but there's a huge list of symptoms that come from uh, eating gluten. <coughs> How you doing? Let's get you some water. <coughs> water? No? Okay, well, I'm gonna take care of this, but...